here with uh, um, Ed Luna, and he's going to talk a little bit about um, his pieces and the thought process behind. This one is like two two characters, uh, the man and the nature. In this case, the nature is represented by a kind of tree, which is also kind of character with with feelings and with. Uh, in some way, like set because of the bad treatment, the the, the the misuse of the of our resources, and I wanted to 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 represent in this in this work that we need to get uh, get some kind of conscious of this of this situation, and uh, it's, it's a kind of you know a uh, man that doesn't want to see what is. What, what we are doing with the world, with the nature, with the environment, and this sad tree like crying because of the bad treatment. Okay, great. This one is a kind of three characters. It's a kind of uh, man, uh, woman, and an animal, part animal, which is in fact we are animals. And uh, it's, it talks about the duality of the, uh, of the human being. No, of the polarities, the black and the white, and the the, the creative and the destroyment of the of what we do in this world, and uh, it's talking about the the poles, the poles, the, the positive and negative. You know, it sort of resembles a little bit like a horse. But was that was that somewhere in there when you were creating it? Well, it resembles a horse because it's a kind of animal which is kind of feminine animal but it's not really that because part of it's feminine but there's also a masculine part and uh, it's one to to incorporate the this kind of two poles you know the, the positive and the negative the, the man and the woman uh, the black and the white it's like this kind of contradictions we have in in our in our life and in this case is the the work is called uh, uh, Mars Hurt and uh, Venus Triumphant because it seems like the feminine pole is getting more more importance than the masculine that we lo uh, we forgot a lot of things that the feminine pole is recovering. Okay, I do. What's the what's this piece called? And uh, if you just Tricornium volaris, it's a Latin name. It uh, came from my mind that it's Latin and it resembles a kind of, it's a character, it's an animal, half, maybe half bull, half goat or something, that this character wants to show to the people the will of, of flying, of leaving this reality and to find other realities, to go to other dimensions, to leave this kind of jail, physical jail we have, with all the problems, with all the troubles, and go away to find new worlds, new dimensions, new things. This is a very curious uh, character that wants to explore. And are, are the colors, the yellow and the red, are they deliberate? And do they have a particular significance? Or Well, not really, but many people ask me about this, and uh, mo most of the people think it's a kind of bull. And uh, in fact, it's not really a bull, because they think it's bull because they have two horns, but... Uh, I don't know if people think it's a bull because of the colors or because that, uh, in fact, I think that these colors are very energeti energetic and uh, they transmit a lot of uh, force. That's great. Thank you very much for your time.